Hi, I'm Wilson, and welcome to today's tutorial, in which we're going to discuss how to program the buttons on the Logitech G502 Hero gaming mouse. This mouse is quite amazing. I am not sponsored by Logitech to create this tutorial. I just want to help people who own this wonderful device. The great thing about this mouse, it has programmable buttons, the two here on the top and the three on this side. Oh, and there's also this button too. It's it's programmable as well. But for the purpose of this video, it's just going to be these two and these three. As we can see on the screen, this is the G502 Hero software program. You have to download it from the Logitech website, and the link will be in the description below. As you can see on the screen, the mouse has the logo in red as well as this part in red and uh, right here and if you look at the mouse on the screen right here it matches what this shows me is that it's set to default and I chose red because I like that color for the purpose of this video I'm going to show you how to program the buttons for a specific application people use this for gaming I use it for um, for other purposes in terms of productivity making graphics and illustrations and whatnot First thing we're going to do is click here where it says desktop default. And it's going to take you to the games and applications area. Go ahead and click game or application. And I'm going to be focusing on Inkscape. Inkscape is located in the Windows C file. And I'm going to go to the program files. On the search bar, I'm going to go ahead and look for my Inkscape app. Scroll down. Now, you got to make sure it says Inkscape, not Ink View, and it has to be an application type. That way it functions properly. And there it is, Inkscape. Now, for the fun part, after we selected the application, we're going to go ahead and click X. And notice how it changes color on the screen as well as on the mouse. What we're going to do is go ahead and click on the picture of the mouse. The first thing I like to do is assign it a color. Right now it is set to cycle and that's what this part is. It's the primary and there's the logo. I'm going to set the effect from cycle to fixed, meaning it's just going to be one color and I'm going to leave it to the default blue. I'm going to go to logo and again go to fixed and leave it to the default blue. It's a very nice icy blue and again it's blue on the mouse and it's blue on the screen. What's on the screen is going to be on the mouse. It's wonderful to look at. Go ahead and click on assignments. Now in the assignments area, this is where you go ahead and program the buttons. Well, you see with the white dots, those are programmable. So what we're going to do is I'm going to um, negate the onboard profile cycle. I'm going to negate that entirely. For Inkscape, there are tools I use a lot. Starting off, let's go ahead for the arrow tool. And the arrow tool in Inkscape is F1. Go ahead and click on this. Notice how it, how it excuse me, notice how it says DPI up and it's highlighted in blue. When it's highlighted in blue, that means that it's ready to be programmed. So F1 is a key on the keyboard. So I'm under keys. Go ahead and click on the search bar. I'm going to type in F1. And as we can see, F1 is right there. Click that. Okay. Notice that it says F1 and G8. G8 is this uh, button right here. And it's assigned. I'm going to do the same thing here. It's highlighted in blue, DPI down. And I'm going to program this for the nodes tool, N-O-D-E-S tool. And that is F2. F2 under keys okay then so far we programmed two buttons here and here now you're wondering what about the buttons on the side of the mouse well that's quite easy notice how in this screen you're going to see the left and right arrow go ahead and choose which one you want to pick and there you go now we're at this part of the mouse for this button in particular, what I'm going to do is utilize it for align and distribute with an Inkscape. 
Now, the thing is this, align and distribute within Inkscape is control shift A, and I can't utilize that with keys, actions, or even system. What I have to utilize is something called a macro, and what a macro is is simply a series of keys, um, strokes, utilized in one click of a button. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, this button is highlighted in blue. It's ready to be programmed. I'm going to click create new macro. I'm going to title it align and hit enter. Because I have to use control shift A once, I don't need it to repeat itself. So I'm going to click no repeat. And right here it says start now. Notice how I have a lot of options here. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to utilize the record keystrokes. And what that does is it just records the exact buttons I have to use for that command or any other commands. So again, I said control shift S and oh, sorry, I made a mistake. Let me just hit stop record. Now you notice I made a big mistake and you're probably asking yourself, how am I going to fix that? It's quite simple. You just click on it. It's highlighted and hit the delete key and it's gone. Anytime you make a mistake, just click on it, click delete key, and you can start over. Go ahead and click start now, record keystrokes, and I'm going to hit control shift A, and I'm going to click stop record. Now that the command is just the way I want it, I'm going to go ahead and click save. Now I'm going to erase that search feature. Make sure that this particular button is in blue and click align. There we go. Now then to see what I want to do with this button. And you know what? I'm going to use the old copy and paste. I'm going to use this for the copy. I'm going to use this for the paste. The great thing about copy and paste is it's very common in a lot of systems we use. So I'm going to go ahead and click system. And I'm going to use the, uh, I'm going to scroll down. Ah, oh, here it is under editing, system, editing, and we're going to click copy. There we go. And now for this button, we're going to use paste. All right. All the buttons I needed programmed are programmed. Let us recap. This is copy. This is paste. This button right here is the macro. This is the arrow tool and this is the nodes tool. The great thing about using the software program is you can use it when it's open or closed. Whoop. I'm going to go ahead and open up Inkscape. And see if the buttons work. Oh, look at that. It is working. Now I'm going to show you the uh, buttons in action. But first I'm going to draw a square. Nice blue square. And again, because I set Inkscape to blue, it'll change colors. Now that I created a blue square, what I'm going to do is switch from the square rectangle tool to the arrow tool by clicking this top macro button. And look at that, I have the selection tool. All right, I'm going to switch from selection to nodes using this button. And look at that, I got some nodes here. Click off of that. Now I'm going to copy using this button right here. It's copied. I'm going to click off of here and then hit this button for paste. There you go. I can paste anywhere I want on the page. And uh, now let's go ahead back to the Logitech G Hub. As you can see, it's all programmed the way just I want it. You're probably wondering, though, what if I want to delete this, this because I don't like it? Well, you can actually do that. You can delete it and remake it however you want. Just go to settings. You get to scroll down and you get to click forget app. And you're going to get a warning. Just read it right there. All profiles and macros also be unsubscribed for this application. Are you sure? You just click yes. 
And there you go, it's gone. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it helps out. Again, I'm not hired, I'm not sponsored by Logic Tech. I just enjoy this product and I want to help people utilize all the great features this wonderful device has. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.